Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to add stuff to walls or add things into your scene. Like in this one we're going to show you how to add a blood splatter to a wall. We're going to use the track motion or the 3D camera tracker and we're going to do this inside Adobe After Effects. This is an awesome technique that you can use in all of your shoots. If you're an amateur filmmaker, it has become not that difficult to do this type of stuff. All you got to do, follow along. Alright guys, first things first, we need some footage, so I've got some abandoned old office footage. I used this in a previous tutorial, but it worked really nice, so we're going to go with it. I'm going to throw that into my project panel like I just did, I just dragged and dropped it. Next thing, you drag and drop it onto that composition button there, and you have a new composition, and we're going to meet Joey. Now, I'm just going to scroll ahead and show you what it looks like, and what I think we're going to do with this one is we're just going to add blood splatters to like this wall, or maybe that one, but let's just add a blood splatter there, just for effect, okay? So we're going to, I don't know, let's start about here. I'm going to just trim that and then we're going to end it at about two seconds. Now, the reason why I'm shortening it this much is merely for demonstration purposes. If you're doing a film, you don't want to have a blood splatter on the wall and then have it fall off. That is my dog banging around with his little chuck it toy. So forgive the... Uh, the, uh, the the noise there. All right, so now the next step is I gotta throw in the blood splatter. I've downloaded a, a blood splatter here, as you can see. I will make a very quick note that this blood splatter has a transparency, which means it has an alpha channel, so that when I drag and drop it in, for example, it does not have that, ah, if I could do it, I'm not doing so good. It doesn't have the white in the background, so it's just blood, so there, it is an alpha channel. Then again, but of course, if you see what we're doing here, this is not tracked to the wall, it's just dropped on there. So that's not what we want. But anyways, it has an alpha channel. Now, the next step is you wanna to go to the beginning of your uh, footage, and you wanna click on the tracker. If you don't have it open, go to Window, drop it down to Tracker, make sure the check mark is selected, done. It opens up this, which says Tracker, and we are going to track the camera. Let's click on that bad boy. Yep. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, the amount of motion in your shot, and other, you know, complexity of the shot, but mostly motion and computer speed, it's going to determine how long it takes for you to uh, render this out. Also, the length of the shot is the other third major variable. Um, for me, it's pretty quick, but I'm only doing a two-second snippet so um, for demonstration. So there you go, guys. We've got our tracking points now. Now the next thing I do is I increase the tracking point size. And I increase them quite a bit because I'm getting older and my eyes don't work that well. Also, if you don't get a good track or you don't get many tracking points or you don't get them where you want them, you can go ahead and check mark detailed analysis under advanced and that will give you even more uh, bits and pieces and tracking points. But this looks like it's gonna do just fine for us. All right, the next step is we are going to try and find, oh, clicked off of it, sorry. Let me click back on the camera tracker. We want to track something to this wall is what we're looking for. So we're looking for points. Uh, this is three points, for example, that basically creates, like if we put the blood splatter, it looks like it's on the same plane as the wall that we're throwing the splatter on. These three points, just from eyeballing them, look pretty good, so I'm gonna left click on them. I'm just gonna left click here, and you're gonna notice it's selected these three points. And let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna go right now and right click and create solid and camera. I'm gonna remember that I created these three points here. And as I move forward, I'm gonna try and see if it jitters or moves around much. And I'm kind of looking here at the edge of the door frame, for example, or the door stop. And we are not getting very much jitter at all. This looks like a really good um, plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that which is backwards, I know. But I click back on the, or click back on my footage, click back on the 3D camera tracker, select those three points again. Now I'm going to right click and set ground plane and origin. This is the ground plane now. Yeah, we wanna do this. All right, so when we move forward, this is where it is stuck to, the, the camera or the, the blood splatter is gonna be stuck to this plane. The next step is you wanna right click on this and now create solid in camera. Okay, one more time, let's look through. Looks pretty solid, no pun intended, that was horrible, sorry, I didn't even mean it. Um, okay, so there we go, we got it, it's looking good. 
Of course, we don't want to put a big green friggin' thing on the wall, so we're still got a little ways to go. The next step is you want to take your blood spider or whatever it is. Remember to always have a transparency channel in this stuff and for it to look real. Drop it on top of the solid. Perfect. Now, make sure that the blood splatter has this 3D layer box clicked. It kind of fires it off into the, the top right corner there and it looks like wonk, but we're gonna fix that up in a short moment. Okay, I'm gonna trim these all to the same length. Now, for this track solid, I wanna basically make this solid, you know, where do I think I would like the blood splatter? Do I want it up on the top of the wall? Do I want it down here? Um, you know what? I, I don't. How about let's do it on the let's do high up on the wall. Something really got a good chopping. Okay, so these are the coordinates. I kind of roughing it out here. This is where I think the blood splatter is gonna go. So I'm gonna go now and drop down this arrow here on track solid. I'm gonna go to transform, and now I'm gonna select the coordinates. I'm gonna hold. The, I click on anchor point, hold shift down, all the way to opacity. And I'm going to edit copy or control C or command C, uh, copy. And now I'm going to paste them to the blood splatter. Edit, paste. Yeah. All right. There's a splatter on the wall, guys. We're getting there. I am now going to click the eyeball on track solid, get rid of that damn thing. And now let's take a look at what we got. We got a not so realistic blood splatter up there. It's too bright a red, obviously. And, uh, Probably a little bit too high up. Maybe we can make it a little bigger. But guys, we are we're, we are pretty much in the home stretch. We've done it. I'm gonna make this a huge splatter, and I'm gonna bring her down to about here. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Okay, now let's run a camera. It is fixed to that wall, guys. That is a pretty much pretty close to a pretty close to a perfect camera track. Now, what else do you want to do to this? This is course extra extra credit but we can go ahead and adjust the colors on this thing like this is really bright red and we wouldn't want it that bright so I don't know we could drop some brightness and contrast on the blood uh, that's what I would do something like that and then I don't know the brightness is is probably too much so you could lower it down uh, if I could just click on it maybe get it to about like that kind of color so it's older blood and then maybe make some contrast in it I don't know what do you think Something like that, I don't know. Maybe that looks a little bit more realistic. Um, there are all sorts of other effects that are kind of outside the scope of this. But I mean, yeah, you know what? It looks pretty, I don't know, it looks pretty, I don't know, bright. So I would put a minor blur on it if I was doing this for like a film. I'd take something simple like a fast blur, put that on top of the, on top of the layer and, you know, add a little bit of blurriness so that it, eh, not too much, maybe just a one or two. But that gives it a little bit, or maybe a higher, three, six, no, three maybe. That gives it a little bit more of that uh, natural look. Let's take a look now, run through it. Bang, there's a blood splatter on that wall, guys. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've got a lot more coming up. And uh, there you go. You learned something. All right, it's Curtis checking out. Thanks a lot for watching.